Hello and welcome, this is Kara. And this video is a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to talk about uh, the Fall slash Halloween Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge 2021. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Dollar Tree Challenge and when I was watching some Dollar Tree hauls and the things they were coming out with um, for fall <laughs> and Halloween in the crafty realm, I thought, oh my gosh, what a fun time to do another challenge. So, uh, let me kind of talk about what I was thinking for the challenge. Uh, $15 or less is what, you know, we can spend. Less is better, save some money, but I know it's going to be hard because there's a lot of really cool things um, that I've been seeing either on the Dollar Tree website as well as, like I said, in some hauls that I've watched. Um, so 15 or less. I want you to use the things you already have, your scissors, your glue, um, cutting board, you know, those kind of things, guillotine cutters, punches, use what you have, use your, use your tools. And then the other thing I was thinking is if you've done other Dollar Tree challenges in the past, you already have some of the basic things like, let me pull them up here. You already have envelopes, right? And you maybe have used like three out of your box. There's no need to go buy another box. You probably have some ribbon from previous years that are Halloween or fall. Um, use your ribbon. And then there's packages of doilies that Dollar Tree has. If you have some, use those if you want to put it in your journal. And then I pulled some other things out that I have bought at Dollar Tree. This writing paper. Um, there's coloring books. Now maybe this might not work for Halloween, but if you're doing fall, it could be fall color flowers. Um, I've bought this tracing paper at Dollar Tree. So if you have things in your stash that will work for the journal, don't don't feel like you need to go buy those things again. Use like the base pages and those things um, already from Dollar Tree. Even if you bought a Dollar Tree book in the past and that is going to be your cover, you don't feel like you have to go buy that basic stuff again. What I want you to have fun with and do are find the things that are Halloween or fall that um, you can maybe use in a different way. So like I bought these bag of bones and maybe I'm going to make little bones um, either on my cover or as a dangle off the side. Um, I want you to focus on the fun and creative part, not, oh gosh, I have to buy paper <laughs> to fill my journal. That's not as fun. I hope that makes sense. All right. Um, so yeah, use a Dollar Tree book or an item for your cover. I will put a link, I will make a playlist and give you some ideas um, of a couple different Dollar Tree Challenge journals. A couple of mine and one I have in mind that blew me away. Um, and she just used packaging and fabric in different ways that I would have never thought of. So think outside the box um, and decide kind of what you want for your cover, hardcover, softcover. Um, and then again, be creative, packaging, all that kind of stuff. Like this pumpkin, I think I want to cut this out and use this as um, something in my journal. So even if it's a bag, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bag, right? You can come up with different ways to use it. Okay, so this challenge will begin September 14th. And you're thinking, well, Kara, why are you doing it then? Um, I think um, it would be really fun if you're making a Halloween journal to then use it as your October daily, if you are gonna do that. Or if you're doing a fall journal, you can then use it in um, November for a grateful journal. So that's kind of what I was thinking. So the 14th it will start. If you want to start earlier than that and you've collected your items, go for it. <laughs> I'm going to have my first video up on the 14th and then the challenge will end on September 30th. Um, if you are not part of my Facebook group, you can go to Kara, Brandon and Friends and that is a great place i'll have a post for um as we're working through our challenge if you want to post your youtube videos there or if you want to post pictures of your progress that would be awesome um if you don't have facebook and you want to participate i have a hashtag that uh, we can use and it's hashtag hollow so h-a-l-l-o-w fall 
So I wanted to combine Halloween and fall. So Hallow Fall, DT for Dollar Tree, JJ for Junk Journal 2021. It's kind of long, but I kind of wanted to get all the pieces in there. So Hallow Fall DT JJ 2021. I'll have the hashtag and all of this information in the description. So again, if you are posting on Instagram, use this hashtag. If you're posting on your YouTube channel and you're not part of Kara Brandon and Friends, that's a way so I can go and find you for at the end. Um, because I would like to do a drawing um, and do a prize or prizes, and I will announce that on my first video, September 14th, um, for the, the what the prizes are, and then at the end of the month, I will do a drawing. It'll probably be in October once I collect all the stuff, but um, you know, check out links and pictures. But I'll have a um, a drawing in the end for the winner or winners. All right. Um, what else do I have here? <laughs> yep, let's have fun and be creative with our fall and Halloween treasures that we find at Dollar Tree. If you don't have a Dollar Tree or you don't live in the U.S., you might have thrift stores or pound stores if you're um, in the U.K. or something similar to a Dollar Store or create a kit from your stash or maybe there is um, some pieces that you've collected for fall and Halloween and you just haven't used them. I know I have a ton of Tim Holtz stuff from last year that I thought I was going to use and I haven't used and yet I still want more of the new Tim Holtz. <laughs> um, but use, a, make a stash and make it fun and maybe go pick out some fun unique things. Um, it doesn't have to be Dollar Tree. It could be um, anything. I just want it to be, you know, kind of on the inexpensive side. Whatever it is, kind of come up with new ways of using the packaging and the parts and pieces to create this really fun journal. Um, if you have questions, please post them at the bottom of this video, and I will then be able to answer them in my first video and or on my Facebook channel or Facebook page. They'll probably be answered in both locations. Okay, so I've started collecting, and so far in Arizona, my Dollar Trees are... Uh, a little slow. I don't know. The people who are doing these Dollar Tree hauls, they have really good Dollar Trees who have everything ready to go. But let me show you what I have so far. I'm not giving up hope. I'm going to keep looking and I really want some of the fabric. And then I want to do, um, I think I'm going to do the cover maybe out of, they have the faux books. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can get my hands on. All right. So, so far, You've seen my bones. <laughs> um, I think they have styrofoam bones that might be smaller, so I may or may not pick up some of those. And then this was fun. This is what I'm seeing. It's new and different this year, so I just love it. Usually they have just the cellophane bag, treat bags, but this is fabric, and I'm super excited. And you get the jute, and you get a pumpkin you can cut out and use. Um, you could cover this and make one of those fun tags with something coming out. So just think about your packaging. So I'm excited about these and there's four bags. Super cool. Super cool. So I have those. And then the stickers, they have stepped up their sticker game. Holy cow. So these are some Halloween stickers. I just love them. And this one is fun with the greens and then the, um, Day of the Dead uh, skulls, sugar skulls, and then this one is super cool. I love the purples, I love it. So, so far, that's what I found, but like I said, I do have some stuff if I um, am struggling to get things. I do have things in my stash. I haven't even pulled out my Halloween box that I have from Dollar Tree from previous years and years, you know, back in the, back in the day. Okay, so, um, but I wanted to show you, I'm changing, I'm changing gears for one second. I have found, <laughs> um, these again, and I don't know if you've seen the video where I've talked about these, but these little envelopes I store, um, if like for five days of fall or different kits that I have, if I'm work in progress, I stick all my stuff in these little envelopes and then I have them over here to the side. So let me show you. Here is my five days of fall one and I just stick this stuff in it. Um, here's my Adeline. So I just love these. I use them all the time. So I picked up some more. So if you need a way to kind of organize your stuff, these are awesome. 
And then I, these are non Halloween, non fall related things that I did find because it's been a long time since I've been to Dollar Tree with the whole COVID. But these little guys, I'm going to possibly use a couple in my ocean journal that I'm working on. Found lots of ocean things. And then these rub ons are fun shells. Um, I love these. I just think specimen um, cards, you know, oh, and with the sunflowers with I just I love those. And then there's two more the keys and the clocks. And then these butterflies that I've been seeing people have. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's itty bitty ones and gigantic ones. These are cool colors for fall or Halloween also. These are the colors I found. I had to grab them. So look at these fun stickers for, um, could go in my journal. And then I had never seen these either. Look, ocean, flowers, and leaves, the rub-ons. And then I love these too. So I found a lot of things that were not Halloween related. Um, so I'm gonna be on the hunt for the things that are Halloween, Halloween related so I can get busy on <laughs> getting ready for that journal um all right again post your questions hopefully i've answered them don't stress this is going to be fun um if you go over by a little bit okay <laughs> if you're under that's okay just enjoy the process check out other people who are making the videos that's really really fun i think that's the best part is to see how other people have these ideas and you're like oh my gosh i never thought of that and then you incorporate it into your journal um and it it just kind of expands your creative horizon <laughs> all right uh, i'm gonna stop blabbing again post your questions and i hope you have fun hunting for your treasures and i hope you have a wonderfully crafty day i'll see you soon